All right, we're gonna try out this. Shoot a video on um, installing a water pump on a 2011 BMW X3. And let's see, I'm dirty, man. I just now finished it up. Uh, the reason why I'm shooting this video is because there's nothing on YouTube to help these guys that are dealing with the newer models. Like I said, mine's 2011, it's a new generation, or second generation, I guess you could say. <clears throat> but it's not like what you see on there, man. Because I watched a bunch of videos and it's not what not what you think it is. Not what I thought it was. You take a skid paint off of it and you're like, that ain't what I watched on the videos. But um, there's a two and a half minute video on there some guy shot, but he didn't go into detail about um, how things work. So let me give you a quick view of this stuff real quick. I'm gonna do a quick one. Last one started this long, it's too long. Uh, um, this bar right here, you'll see, there's one inside, there's a nut down in here, and one on the end, two here, one in the center, and that's all you have to take out. Take that bar out, take those out, pull this bar out. Alright, and then that'll give you access to your fan shroud. Okay? That'll give you access to this, all right? On the other side, see the little hole right there? All right, it didn't show up in the last video, so that's why I redone it again. It's getting ready to rain out here. I found my little flashlight. But, um, once you, uh, once you, <clears throat> right down here, let's get a little light. All right, see that right there sticking up? This is just something in the corner. You know, right there, my light's on that little lip. All right, that goes up inside that fan shroud. That's your oil cooler, okay? You can see it. Take that bolt out, and you got these bolts up here that I told you. You got to take those out. But take those out, and you can see down in here, like the other guy said, everything comes out. Well, it does come out this way, but... Everything to do as far as loosening the bolts. I think there's a couple clamps. Everything that you do is underneath the car. And bro, I'm telling you, it is tight. It needs you gotta have patience. So it doesn't it's kinda overwhelming when I first take it off. I was like, oh my goodness, I ain't that ain't what none of that stuff I watched on online. So I hope this video helps somebody that's getting ready to tackle this stuff. I'm going to show you up underneath the car. Let's get my finger off the camera. All right. So, right here, you can see my lights on it. See them right there? The two holes. That's where your water pump bottom two bolts are. Then you got that top one up there. Let's see it. All right. Let's see it. Right there. All right. So, that's where your water pump bolts are. And that thing sets right up in there, man. You can see the. I got my little. You're gonna have to work in here. There's a clip on the, the power. There's one hose that goes to the car off the water pump. There's one hose that goes to the thermostat off the water pump. And I've got them laying over here. I'll show you in a second. But that hose right there. Starting to blow the rain in. That hose right there. The reason I got a paper towel so I gotta get it dripping in my face. Got my little pads in here. But, um. The reason why I did that was to show you, you can see the fans over turning here, blowing so hard. You can see, you can see that old cooler. There's that lip right there I was telling you about. But you take those bolts out of the fan shroud, it just sets in here on these little holes. It's not hard to get out, but that right there is what holds it, the stupid old cooler. <clears throat> I ended up breaking a piece of plastic, that hole I showed you. I, Guy said just pull up on it and it'll come out. Well, I jerked on it. And I'm lucky it knocked a hole in the radiator. Thank the Lord for that. But um, I've always worked on cars, man. This is just a tedious job. Everything you do is going to have to. I took the tire off. Took my tire off. I came in through the side, up underneath the bottom. 
whatever you gotta do, man. If you're just gonna have to take your time and do this. But everything comes, I had to just put my feet up underneath the car and, and use my hands to reach up in there. But what I did first was, is I loosened that hose. I don't know if you can see it up underneath there or not. But there's a hose, a hose up underneath the car here. There's a hose. Pouring rain, I don't even know where the dog is. Um, there's a hose right over here, right there. You can see it. That one there is the first one I took off. There's a whole lot to this video, man. But what I did was, I took the hose off of, I took the hose off of the, I think I can find my dog. Took the hose. Get up here, crazy. Get up here. Ranger, get up here now. Sorry. What happened, you got a stupid dog. Then he takes off running out the neighbor's yard. Um, I took that hose off, took the thermostat loose from the water pump first. And you'll see there's two bolts to hold that on. Um, up underneath of it, I think they're 10 millimeter. Two off first, there's your thermostat. Those two bolts there go, it sets just like this in the car. This is the way it came out. So this hose goes to your radiator. This one goes to your water pump. This one goes up to the top of the motor. This one goes to the water pump, or to the to the engine, and then you got these right here. That one goes to the car itself, comes down, comes into the water pump that way, and this goes to the thermostat. So um, that's what they look like, just like you see them online. But um, I took the thermostat loose first, and. Uh, Took that thermostat loose first so I can move it around because like they say on the other videos, all the clamps are facing up. So it's kind of hard when you put it back on, you're gonna have to deal with uh you're gonna have to deal with uh the clamps facing the wrong way. And I did it a while ago just to help somebody else out because when you're laying on your back or you're reaching up in the air, it's a six millimeter. That fits on these things, and I don't know. This is like I said, it's 2013. See my pants busting. I got deer hair in there where I hit a full size doe, ran over it one morning. It was real pitch black, dark out, and it was laying in the center of the road. Actually, I just ran right over, it. and the car just like plump plump went for that skid pan and probably tore the whole bottom of my car out. But anyway, I took the thermostat loose first. And then just get up underneath of it. It's going to take some time, man. I'm telling you. It's going to take some time. It's something that, that uh, you can't just rush into and say, I'm going to knock this out in a couple of hours. It might take you two hours. It might take you three hours to get that out. But it will come out. It just takes patience. takes a little time. You see, you get a little dirty. That's a little antifreeze there. A little road dirt. But you're going to get dirty and... Uh, now I'm waiting on my parts, but uh, and then you take the water pump loose, and then a lot of all the bolts, all that stuff's underneath the car. Uh, the plug in on the back of the radiator or on the back of the water pump, it was uh, pretty hard to get off. It's hard to get both hands in there and have a light at the same time, and uh, it's hard to. Uh, you get your hands in there, period, because everything's loose up underneath the bottom. Get you a couple of uh, six inch extensions and maybe a three inch. And, and uh, actually, you know, somebody said that was a E10, E10 that, that got those off. You know, I ended up using, um, I think it was an eight millimeter or something to break those things because it's a, it's a weird size, man. It's an E10. It's goofy looking. It's the E10, it's, it's like a reverse star socket to get those things off. And right here underneath the car, you 
That's what they look like when you get them out. But you gotta buy new ones because they're aluminum. They said to replace them, so a couple dollars, I think. But I ended up using a, uh, I think it was a 10 millimeter. Yeah, I used a 10 millimeter six point, man. And it fit right on. I mean, I don't know. Do it at your own discretion. But when you when you get the wrong tool and you're down here and your wife's at work with the only car, you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. So, I worked on cars practically my whole life. I do my own oil changes in this thing. He looked kind of sickly. I did my own plugs, my own coils. I took my injectors out, cleaned them. Uh, and do some videos on that. It ain't that hard, just takes some time. These cars do take time to work on. Um, but this is like I said, the good little car, man. I get over 30 miles a gallon this thing. It's got the X drive in it. It's not all wheel drive, it's called X drive. And uh, these cars are over engineered. This car knows when you're going downhill, knows when you're going around a curb, knows when it's raining outside, it knows all that stuff. And I've had some problems with the plugs, change the plugs, got some bad plugs. I had to change those out. Bought them online. Don't buy plugs online. Go to your local parts store. Order them. Get, take one plug out of your car and get the number that's stamped on the plug. Not written on there, but stamped on your plug. You'll see it. It's down near the bottom of where the threads are. Just spin it around. Read that number off. Take it to the parts store. Write it down. Take a picture of it. Do something. Don't buy them online because they're bad. And I ain't going to throw no bad companies out there. But I think it's F C U Euro is where I got my water pump thermostat, two gallons of antifreeze, and my three bolts for under $500. And that includes my next two day shipping. Now I'm going to tell you something about this F C Euro. This F C Euro site that I found. Um, I found it. It was. Uh, Pretty cool, I thought. So I called called my BMW guy and the other BMW. I got two BMW guys. You gotta have at least one. <clears throat> Still gotta keep an eye on them, man. Um, but I told them both to. Um, I told them both to uh, about this site FCU Euro online. If I buy my parts from them and they're on their way, I got two day shipping for 30 bucks. That was a good deal. It's supposed to be here by the end of the day. I already, I went ahead and got my stuff off, got it ready. Um, but this site here, man, is cool because uh, if you check out their lifetime warranty on their parts and you're like, well, if it goes bad, they'll replace it for lifetime. No, if you use it, if you buy a part like I bought this water pump and stuff. As I read that online, they said, if you buy a water pump from us and you use it for the lifetime and it goes bad, we'll replace it. I guess that's what lifetime means. We'll replace it as long as you own the car. Of course, you, there's no other site out there doing that. You buy our product, we give you 90 day, year warranty, whatever. This is a lifetime warranty on their stuff, okay? I bought a water pump thermostat. All right, these things are supposed to wear out I got this car and it had 49,000 miles on it. It's got 120 on it now. Of course, I drive 150 miles a day to work, which I know that's crazy. I'm getting ready. After I fix this, this car is going to be parked. I'm going to buy me a little work car. Because this, I paid 20 grand for this car a year and a half ago. and uh, It's a good deal. This car is running like 50, 55,000 brand new. It's loaded. It's got everything. You don't have heated seats because it came from Florida. But, um, anyway, that place FCU Euro, as long as you own the car, whatever you buy from them, once you buy that part again, you send back your old part and they reimburse you the credit back. I thought that was cool. I mean, I've never heard of a part store or a company doing that. You know, uh, lifetime free replacement as long as you own the car. Anything that they sell, they sell. Anything. And, you know, people think it's crazy. But I think it's good business. You know, maybe later on down the road they'll stop doing it. But these water pumps are only supposed to last like 50,000 miles. Like I said, I got the car that had almost 50 on it. And it didn't look like nobody ever replaced it. And it's got 120 on it now. And if it went that far, and they saying 
Some people are replacing them at 40 or 50,000 miles if you look online. Mine went to 120, which I think that's good. But, um, you had to check that site out. Because I think it's pretty good. I'm telling everybody. I told everybody I know that's got a European car that, that I know works on cars. Not everybody works on cars. Come here, boy. Now. Come on. Let's get in the house. I'm tired of watching you. You ever run out in the rain? Come on. Get. Boy. Let's go. Come on. I'm on the video and you're messing with me. Get in the house. Well, Shih Tzu. I picked a good name for that dog. But anyway, uh,. If you like to work on your cars, it's going to take some time. And I just showed you a couple things. It's not really a lot to take it out. It's just time to get it out. Okay? Get you a long screwdriver. Make sure you got a, a couple six-inch extensions for a 3H drive. And nothing's really torqued on there hard. Uh, get you some, uh, some, some uh, T. Some of these things right here. I went and bought a little kit right here, man. I thought this was a... This little kit right here. I know it's generic, but I broke one of my things off. So I went and bought and it's got all these it's got all these little tea things in it you need to get your bracket off the the front. Alright, while I'm down here, I'm gonna show you something. Because I had to get online and look this up. I shot this in the last video and the video did some of the things that didn't play too. Alright, see this little this little thing right here, this little tab. These way these hoses come off. I'm gonna German. So you take a screwdriver and you pop that thing up. See it? Alright, if you look inside, there's a little O-ring in there. But they say when you pop these off, they say you, you pull that up and you're like, it's not moving. Like I did. You gotta work it because, see, it's got slots on it. See the slot right there? It's not like anything else that we've ever seen in America. But when you go to put this thing back on, they say put some silicone in it. Some petroleum silicone, some Vaseline around the inside of that thing, and it's gonna slide back on. But when you put it back on, don't put it on with this thing up, they say. Put it down, and you can see those metal things go in. And when you shove that hose back up on there, listen for it to click. Because they said if it don't click, and you put this thing back again and take off down the road, that hose will blow off. Because when the pressure builds up in the motor, and it, that thermostat opens up, Jack, you know how it is if you ever worked on cars, it'll blow everything up. So that's a new kind of deal I had to deal with. But you can see these things are banded on there. They don't come off. I mean, I one guy on YouTube took a little side grinder and cut that off because it was, somebody had Gorilla Glue one on it, it was crazy. But I don't see how Gorilla, gorilla Glue holds it, holds a pressurized hose on it's doing something. But that hose right, see that one hanging down right there with the paper towel in it? That thing had a steel clip on it. That was a band. That was a steel band. It wasn't a hose. So I got to buy a new hose for that. You're going to have to pry that off with a screwdriver. And that took about 15 minutes without tearing the hose up. But that was one of the hoses that run from that thermostat down to that. It was crazy, man. Right there it is. Let's see. That hose right there. That hose ran. This is the way it sets in the car, just like that. That hose ran over to that, to that thing. This is going to set like that, actually but it bolts on that bolts right onto the side of your water pump and that hose i just showed you it was bolted it was that hose i just showed you was it was a steel steel piece of band but anyway i just want to show you all this that's where you'll be working if you look to the, the left back there you'll see that little i can't really see it i can i got my little spotter light but you'll see, um, you'll see, I'll show you, I'm trying to put that little spider light on that. All right, see that right there? That's your hookup for your water pump. And you can see up in here, man, there ain't much room to work at all. They didn't make it easy on it, brother, I can tell you that. Lord help me if something goes out, I'm gonna take all that mess out. I'll drop this whole front end. But uh, hopefully it, we'll put our faith in this German car that I never knew about this stuff on these cars. I'm going to tell you something, man. 
I researched this car for three months online before I bought it on YouTube. Oh, how great it was, how much power they got. Zero to 60 in five and a half seconds, 300 and some horsepower. And, and uh, they rated it 26, 27 miles a gallon of highway. Well, I got news for you. I put summer tires on this thing and I worked 75 miles from work in an up and down curvy road. I don't know, it's a two lane. Just a little bit of interstate. A man comes home, I can get, I got 36, man. 36 miles a gallon in that car. And with summer tires now, not all seasonals, people are like, what's it matter? It does matter, because all summer tires don't have that aggressive tread, so it's almost like a slick. It's got little places, notches cut in it, just to cut the water off of it to be legal. And I get my tires off the tire rack, I give them a good heads up here, because you can get on there and watch videos on your tires. A lot of people don't know that. All right, I ain't gonna go into detail about what happened to me on the spark plugs again. Uh, bot plugs, I'll tell you real quick. Bot plugs, I ordered them online, put them in a the car, and they were bad. If you put new plugs in your car, this is a little nugget. If you do uh, maintenance, this, uh, my car had 120 on it. Pulled the plugs out, looked at them. They are just, the gap was warped, but the plugs are good. They got them Bosch Platinums in them. They go, I think that thing go, uh, was it 100,000 miles? And uh, they go 100,000 miles, but um, 100,000 miles with them plugs. And I put plugs in it and it started misfiring all over. Come find out I had probably got still, probably got one bad one in there. But the guy at the uh, BMW shop said that don't ever buy your plugs online, go to parts store and order. And he said Napa. But it's got to be the 13 millimeter. Uh, you got to buy a special socket to take those plugs out. That's a heads up. Got to order it. I ordered mine online. I ain't gonna tell you where at because I don't. I'll never use them again. I've had. Well, they got good customer service. They just don't. The people they deal with don't do stuff right. So I mean, you give yourself a bad name if you don't deal with the right people. So put them across right there. Um, We, uh, I don't like dealing with people, especially if I'm taking time off work and I'm doing my own work. And I'm still sitting here waiting on my parts to come today. I gotta check my email, see what these tracking number is, see what these things are. But, uh, like I said, them plugs, bought them online, they were bad. Ended up replacing two of them. They're $20 a piece at O'Reilly's. I like O'Reilly's because it's like a good bunch of country boys that work in there where I work at. Seems like they know what they're talking about. Um, they don't hire a bunch of people that don't know how to work on cars um, or know something about a car. I don't think any car store should do that. <clears throat> people ain't got time to waste. Time's precious. Money is too. Um, especially when your car is jacked up in the air and you ain't got another one. But uh, this man, if you put plugs in and you start getting misfires, take that plug out. Don't, don't, uh, don't think it's something else. Just go back to what you did and check your engine light. Overhours will put a checker on. They say misfire cylinder one, just buy another plug. Don't uh, don't go through all that stuff they tell you online. Well, it's your plug, it's your injector, it's your, well, start with your plug, your cool, and your injector. Don't do all that. Just go back to what you did. I mean, it's just, save yourself some money. I mean, I know it's $20 a plug, but they'll give you money back the plugs back. I mean, they got to. <clears throat> so I did I do my own oil changes do my own brakes YouTube that one it's got the electronic brake on the back of it you'll tear it up if you try to do it old school for anybody who thinks they can just put a um, squeeze that caliper back yeah you can do the front one don't do the back one because you you'll be buying a whole new system for the back of it because it's electronic brake it's not a cable brake um, brakes oil did my own plugs put all new coils on it um, reset the, the the ECU on it electronic control unit in the transmission you can do that that's good to do especially if you just bought the car um, so this right here like I said I've done this video to help somebody out and uh, I hope this helps you and um, check out that F I think it's FCU Euro I may be wrong with that last letter FCU it's FC something FCU, I'm pretty sure. 
But, uh, I mean, if you're going to keep this car and you're going to buy and you work on BMWs, I advise you, man, check that site out because that's going to save you money in the long run. Even I think even if you do a little, a little side work on BMWs, I mean, it's going to work out in the long run. I mean, you're still going to charge people for the parts, right? But you're going to get your money back. I mean, that's just, that's how people do stuff. If I worked on BMWs, I told my BMW dude, and I was like, look, man, maybe he'll hook me up. You know what I'm saying? I go by there, and he clears my codes out for nothing. Of course, he, we won't go into that one. But uh, I just thought I'd give somebody, throw somebody a nugget, man, on a couple things. And uh, most of the water pump and thermostat's going to take some time. Take your time. It's going to take some time. Get you a long flathead screwdriver, a uh, six millimeter, 10 millimeter, uh, your T sockets. I don't know what size they are. You can go through and get you a little set. Everybody usually got a little, you can't just buy one, so you got to buy a set. And, um, antifreeze pan. I got two gallons of antifreeze on order. And you got to have a, a certain kind of antifreeze for these cars, fellas. Don't think that you can put that old Prestone stuff in everybody else does that says for it says for all American cars. That ain't no American car, don't forget. It's gotta have that no phosphate something else in it. So I filled mine one time up with some old regular antifreeze and I don't know if that has something to do with my water pump going, but I think it's just bad. But um, we won't do that again. But I wore two gallons. Actually it, uh, Pink sells a uh, European antifreeze, but it's hard to find it. So you just order it online, man. You can get it online, have a couple gallons sent to you. Um, order two. Don't order one. Order two, because you're going to need some later on. My wife owns a Volvo, so I'll probably use some of her cars for her. I think it's called an aluminum block or heads that they use, the aluminum heads. But um, distilled water, you got to put distilled water with your antifreeze. Don't use regular water, it's got to be distilled water. Uh, this is little things that I've studied, man. I studied this stuff for days online before I even tackled this thing. And then Oak took that pan off and it couldn't do nothing like I thought it could. But um, I hope this video helps somebody to even look and see if you want to do it. Because when I took it off, I was like, I'm going to do it. And then when I took it off, I was like, oh, man. It's nothing like I've seen. There's no room at all. But it, it takes time. It's going to take some time, man. But I hope this helps you. That um, it's not just water pump and, and uh, thermostat. I gave you some knowledge on some other stuff too, man. Um, it's got direct injection on the fuel injectors. You can you can do them, take them out and clean them. It's not hard. Um, in fact, that number six one, boy, it's pretty rough. You get all that crap out of the way, it ain't bad. It ain't bad, man. If you work on cars, I like working on cars. But. Um, You can change your own trains and brakes, man. You can do this. I got faith in you. This takes time. Like I said, just take your time, man. And uh, I don't want this video to go over 30 minutes. I got a couple, about a minute and a half left. If there's anything I missed, man, uh, you can ask me in the comments. It's my first ever video from YouTube. So um, I try to check on it. Maybe somebody will get back on there and comment. I hope there's anything you need to know about changing plugs, injector, or whatever, uh, brakes. You can YouTube those things, man. Or if you just want to ask me, I've done it. And I can tell you how I've done it. I mean, it's, they got these little nooks and nannies and cracks and crevices and stuff you gotta work through sometimes. But, um, I hope this helps somebody. And, uh, Pray for patience, son, because you're going to need it. Take your time. Don't act all crazy and get mad and take a screwdriver and try to break stuff. Just take your time. Pry it on both sides of the hose. And, and uh, you're going to get wet with some antifreeze, bro. Right there's a little bit all over my shoulder. I pulled that hose off it. I thought I had it all out. It ain't never all out until you get it all out. Because I got wet. So, I hope this helps somebody. And um, if you got any comments or questions, I ain't going to answer those stupid comments. I can tell you that now. I think y'all just got too much time on your hands to go around slicing and dicing on people, nitpicking. But for all those people who have a serious question or whatever, man, I guess I'll check back on there. I hope this helps somebody. And uh, God bless. Peace out.